What's going on, Vape Nation? This is Job 131 Vapes, and we're here today with the for the review of the Infinite Stingray Clone. So stick around. We're going to go through a zoom zoom view and just kind of break down the parts, see it in the different modes. As well, at the end of it, I'm going to tell you what I like and what I don't like. So stick around. And we're back, people. This is the unboxing and zoom zoom view of the Infinite Brass Stingray Clone. So here is the box, Infinite Electronic Cigarette Mod. Get that out of the way. Oops, I already opened this, but see the drip tip comes in an infinite bag. Get rid of that. Let's take a look at the drip tip first. It's a very nice drip tip. Uh, you can see the engraving, it's nice. It also looks like it's stainless steel and brass. See the o-ring right there. Bore is fairly wide. It's a nice straight bore, straight through. No taper, so that's pretty nice. Then we take the clone out of the packaging. So let's take a look at that. You can see stingray. You can tell engraving is pretty nice as well. Nice and dark. It actually is. It's a bit light, but as far as depth. Not, the depth isn't really that uh, deep, but looks really good. So it looks like it's brass and stainless steel accents. Start with the top cap. Get that out of the way. Okay, so as you can tell, the top cap, stainless steel and brass. Looks like it's a floating pin. Floating 510 pin, yeah, as you can see. Just kind of moves up. Yeah. And I believe that is silver plated. Uh, you can also tell that there are some venting, uh, a bit of venting on the top cap. I think you can tell. Let me see. Yeah, so some venting. Alright. I got one piece. Threads are very good. Uh, Second piece. I mean, I actually, I believe this is uh, the threads seem better than the H cigar clones, which again, I, I like H cigar clones, but uh, this one actually seems a hell of a lot better on the infinite. And this is the switch, like nice engraving again, stainless steel, and you see the venting as well. Brass over here, and it looks like silver plating as well. All right, so we'll start with, let's go with the 18350 mode. I'll show you the different modes of this. So 18350, going in. It is, it is quite small in 18350 mode. It's a sexy beast. Definitely the brass and, and stainless steel. It looks very nice, shiny. Okay, so that is 18350 mode. Oops, I'll go with 18500 now. Again, see, did you hear that? The threads are very, very smooth. Buttery, you might even say, but hey, you might not. So that's it in 18350 mode. Or sorry, 18500 mode. I didn't talk about the switch too much, but I mean the throw is very nice. It's very small. Um, just give me a second. Let's go into 18650 mode. Now uh, this is where I usually vape it at 18650 mode, or I vape anything at 18650. I like the battery life, but. Uh, Let's take a look at what this looks like. Again, like I said, it's very smooth. So 18650 mode, locking ring. Again, I mean, with the locking ring, I try not to crank it down, up or down, just because, for any Mac actually, because I just don't want to get stuck, because sometimes I get jammed in there. I don't know about the originals, or non-clones, but I know with the clones anyway, 
they do get stuck. But again, like I said, the switch, very nice switch. It's uh, very smooth, and the throw is very very minimal. But that's it, 18650 mode. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the other view, and I'm going to vape on it and tell you what I think, you know, what I like and what I don't like about it. But yeah, so far that's the zoom zoom view of the Infinite Brass Stingray clone. Stick around. Alright, welcome back. So, after the zoom zoom view, this is... Well, we'll go through what I like and what I don't like on this Stingray clone. Uh, first thing, I, what I like, I love the look, actually. I love the look of this brass Stingray clone. Stainless steel and brass, can't go wrong. And the fact that it includes a drip tip, which kind of which matches everything. I don't know if you can see that. I like the engraving on it. It's nice. Also on the, bo on the bottom firing pin. It's uh, one sexy, sexy bitch. Okay. Also, uh, secondly, the build quality on this is top-notch. Um, better than H cigar. Threads are buttery smooth. Uh, I don't know, really know what to say. Love the switch. Switch as well. Magnetic switch. And I uh, haven't had any problems. Fires every time. I uh, like the shortness of the throw. It's a very, very solid mechanical or clone of a mechanical mod. I don't know what the real one's like, but I can say that this one is pretty damn awesome. Now, I mean, what I don't like, if I'm being nitpicky, one thing, when I got this, uh, I guess there was a smaller O-ring on the drip tip, so any clone or any atomizer that I put this drip tip on, it would basically not stay on. It would fall out. So all I did was replace the O-ring with a bigger O-ring, and uh, problem solved. Not, so that probably just an error in manufacturing, but just keep that in mind with when I got it, that's how mine came. So, um, also, one other thing, but again, I, it's not uh, Infinite's fault. It's more of just a battery issue. The way it's wrapped, uh, the black E-Fest 18650s, I couldn't get it to fire in, in this at all. It's uh, probably because of the silver uh, tips that are very wide, the silver connectors. But uh, I believe right at the top. It just wasn't making contact because of the plastic that surrounds the battery. So again, that's I think that's more of the battery's fault. All other ones, AW, um, <clears throat> Panasonic, Sony's, they all work fine. Haven't had an issue. But other than that, <clears throat> would I buy it? But yeah, I bought it. Would I buy it again? Hell yeah. I think this is a great buy. I got it for $47 from Kamuri101 and WhackedOutSig.ca. You can check their Facebook channel. I'll leave all the information below. But, uh, yeah, I think this is a very excellent piece to add to your collection. I think you should go out and buy it. Uh, this is probably going to be my number two, possibly number one, over my Copper Nemesis, or over the Copper Nemesis clone. But just Copper Nemesis clone is just hits harder. That's pretty much it. But this is definite contender but as it is uh, this is job 131 vapes saying keep your wicks wet keep your wicks wet keep your wicks wet and I'll see you next time in another review